all praises to the Most High in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to read this message from my other phone. Pray that you receive this message with open heart. So God could do some open surgery in Jesus' name. So Jesus wants me to tell you all what he prophesied to me a while ago. That dark and gloomy days are coming upon the whole world, including you. Zephaniah 1.15 That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Colossians 3.6 For which things sake the wrath of God come on the children of disobedience. We need to prepare our hearts by reading the, method, the word daily. No work should be in our way of reading God's holy word, the holy Bible. If you work a lot on each break, read a chapter. On lunch break, read about two chapters and pray and meditate on what you just read. Read before you go to sleep and get up a little early to read your Bible before work. Proverbs 1 5. For those who don't like to take heed to, to, to wise counsel, Proverbs 1 5 says, A wise man or woman will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. And he also told me, You do not have much time until the great tribulation. This is when I was on. Um, I don't want to talk to this guy because so much I ain't going to explain, but I don't want to talk to him and, and I have all the right reasons, but it was, you gotta, I don't understand why he's doing what he's doing, speaking what he's speaking against the most high, but I heard the whole, I heard the voice tell me to keep praying for him. And if he don't, and if I don't call him one day, well, one day I heard if I don't call him, he's going to attempt suicide. So I don't understand certain things, but I do understand the devil is attacking him bad. So pray for the guy named Jamaski. So, he just let me, God just let me to make a video on proving that the saints will be here during the Great Tribulation. I believe it's on my my YouTube channel, Prophet Israel 144. I don't think it's on Holy Oracles International, but it's on, I believe it's on, one, on Prophet Israel 144. We need to be silencing ourselves to hear from God in our spirit because we're not going to have Bibles in prison. So, how are we going to hear him in his word? These don't be carnal and say, remembering the word, as if God can't speak through us within us, like he still does. Pray for one another, fast, meditate on his word day and night, repent of your sins, keep his commandments to prove our love for him. I hope you all receive this message with an open heart, so God will do sur surgery if you've been lacking in this area, because I have, and not, I mean, because I have, and not proud to deny it or count, I meant to say, um, Conceal it, but I put I put counsel. I hope we all be blessed, stressed less, and always depressed less in Jesus' name. Zephaniah two one through three. We only got verse two one and two. Gather yourselves together, yeah, gather yourselves together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass of the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Seek right before the, yeah before the great anger of the Lord come upon you. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, for that you may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. That's what it says. Trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. Amos chapter 3, verse 6 and 7. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Verse 7, surely the Lord does nothing, but he reveals his secrets until he serves the prophets. In Jeremiah 4, verse 19, he says something like, my bowels, my bowels, I am pained in my very heart. Something about, you has heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. So I pray that you take heed to this message, because God is coming. Jesus is coming very soon. And I, when I say God is coming, Jesus is coming, not two different beings. Only one person is coming, and that's Jesus Christ. He is the name of the Father. He is the name of the Son. He is the name of the Holy Spirit. That's why somebody say some people say three in one. It's not that they're three gods. We just don't we just don't have the great understanding of why the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is mentioned. The name of those three is Jesus. Simple as that. So that's all I have to say. Come to the Father. Repent of your sins. Call on the name of Jesus Christ that you may be healed and saved. All you got to do is call on Jesus. Tell him to come, come into your life and save you. And he will start to work in you.
in Jesus' name. Let's do it out of a humble, repentant heart. Amen.